ladies and gentlemen, to The Unlucky For Some, episode 13. I have uh, fast forwarded a teeny bit here. We've just come from the gun fort, cleared it out, found some various materials and made our way back to this mini boss guy here. Whom I didn't realise was a boss, as you saw last time when we came running through. Now, I have the drop on him. I'm hoping that we can get the stealth move on him first and maybe we'll have a chance of taking him down. Uh, just to put these stakes on the table, we have a thousand sen. I am 200 away from being able to get the move I want. You can see it down there in the bottom right. I might even zoom in on it for you. So if this goes wrong, we're going to lose some Sen, which is going to suck ass, but here we go. That hurts. That hurts a lot. No, jump, jump, jump. It's a woman. She killed me very, very quickly. No, 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 so she can hit me and I can't hit her. That's cool. Gunshots hurt. The gunshots hurt. Gu gunshots hurt. Gunshots hurt a lot. Uh, so I think, bugger, to take them down, I'm going to need the deflecting helmet from the badger. Right, let's just see what the damage... Ooh, Unseen Aid is good. Oh, Unseen Aid coming to the damn rescue. I still have all of my sen. Okay, cool. Right. We are getting the living fuck out of here. We're gonna go to the place where the badger is. So, he is at... Crap, which one is he? Sheena Castle. And... Old Grave. We have arrived at the Ashina Castle, just like magic. Um, right. So, I need to go and double check really quickly the value of Badger's items. I think I can afford... He's been murdering people in here. I can afford to buy the move he has. Fair enough. Uh, so, oh, 1600 for the Iron Fortress. So I think I need, whoops, I think I need this to help with fighting the gunman, the, the gunman, the gunwoman. I didn't actually catch her name when we were fighting because there's a lot going on. But we're going to grab this because this is going to help us at Senpu Temple, I think. Uh, so it's 200, so I should be able to use some light coin purse. I think I should only need one. No, I needed two. Well, actually, one 180. We should be able to kill one person and actually be good to, to go. This is a bad spot to actually have dropped down into without clearing out anywhere else. We're going to have to do a little dash here. Just to reset this area real quick, we're gonna rest. Cool, safe. Right, we need, what was it, 20 coin? Yes, so. That's not who I was trying to lock onto. Oh, 
Oh my god, the range. Bitch in hell. Fucking no. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, I can't believe he hit me. The range on that first attack was insane. They're gonna reset again. This is this is ridiculous. I know that seems like a cheap way out, but oh my lord in hell. And it also did not lock the character I wanted it to. I have been having some lock-on issues, for sure. Like, the game is just like, nah, bro. Oh, thank you for not actually doing the move I wanted there. Aye, Let's focus, come on. This guy, right now, is absolutely owning. Yeah, he's owning the hell out of me. He, it feels like he's gone up a level. I dodge. Wow. All of that started because it also missed the death blow animation. Which I feel like I got. I'm actually really gutted about that. Okay, our send is the same. Okay. Because we got unseen aid. Right, there we go. That is what I was trying to do the first fucking time. Okay, good blocks. Not ideal, but... There's the sem we needed. <sighs> right, what we're going to do, rather than jump straight down to Black Hat... We're going to clear out some of this shit first, because that was not ideal last time. You. I just dodged at the moment he struck me. Oh, what, a, what timing I'm, I'm having right now. It's all good. We can clear most of these guys out, no problem. Although, who the hell is seeing me? I know there's a guy in the dirt. In the dirt? In the... Uh, uh, in the grass. Oh, oh not well, look who it is. Need something? Yes, I do. I need your anti-air death blow. Thank you. Now, Iron Fortress is 1600, so... But what we're going to do is we are going to test out um, the new death blow move uh, to see... On the Senpai... Oh god, this is going to be horrendous. On the Senpu Temple Warriors, I'm going to call them. Right, ladies and gents, you join me back here. In the area? The flying dudes. The guys that spin like proper spinning tops. Now, plan here. Take out these two random dudes. And then one at a time fight the other guys, these double spear-ended dudes, because the other one, like, last time I screwed this royally when I was here, and I end up with both of them attacking me, um, which doesn't work particularly well. 
makes life extremely hard for you if you get two of them on you at the same time. Not ideal. You know what? This could have worked accidentally really well for me. As I stand up, looking like an idiot. If he wanders back, I might be able to stealth kill this guy and actually only have to fight one of them. Not the best tactic for actually getting good at the game. But a great way to help make it easier. And a heavy coin purse from him will take right his friends walking down like yeah i see you bitch wow we might have accidentally stealth this okay this is interesting i did not expect this guy to walk down Oh, this has gone annoyingly well, considering I wanted to test out my new move. Um, I'm now free to have a wander. I know there are a couple of monks around the corner. I need to be careful of those guys. And there's two guys down here, so we should still be careful. Of course it's Gaishin Sugar there. Yeah, there's two guys down there. These guys should be fine. like that. Lovely view of the tree there for all of you guys at home. Beautiful. Right. Some pellets. Not too shabby. Okay. Right. Well, we haven't really had a chance to look around here at all, so... I don't think I can get in here. I think the door is locked. Yeah. Now, whilst we're here... Yep. get rid of all of them. I don't like them. They are brutal. They will kick the living crap out of me if they see me, so... As a shinobi, you do not leave anything behind. So that's our next route. Uh, there was one thing I did want to do before heading up there. Back in the other room where we came through, there is a set of three monks now they are all praying to an altar my only slight worry if I do this that is actually someone up there that's not a statue is it that's a boss if I attack those guys, mini I'm calling that as a mini boss. I could be wrong. Um, I'd rather find another idol first. We are definitely going back there as soon as we find the next idol. Um, but I, I can't risk that right now. Not after having an easy shot through with those two spinning double bladed guys. making some progress through Senpu, so... <gasps> well, there's the statue I literally was just talking about. Here is the next idol. We have a horrendous looking route round there. And there. And we can go up. Before we do any of those, we go back. fuck is that? Ah! 
Oh, oh, he actually hit me. Cool. I need to move. Oh, oh, he grabbed me. I told you this was going to be a bit like a boss. Gotta dash this in and out. I need to be able to block those more often. Right, what we do real quick, we switch back over to Ichimondi. Not even going to try and block it. Could have blocked that one, didn't. He's almost ready for a slapping. There we go. What is that? And why is she gobbing everywhere? That's a gourd seed. That's a very nice little trophy. That's a lump of fat wax, which we'll read about in a minute. She's gobbing out the bugs. What in the living hellfire are you? Or were you? She just keeps getting up. What the fuck? It doesn't die. It actually doesn't die. Okay, well, we're going to leave that alone. We've got ourselves a gourd seed. And a lump of... Was it a lump of fat wax? It's not in this menu. Where is it? There we go. Lump of fat wax. These lumps of fatty wax form inside the body in rare circumstances. I fucking hope not. Can be used for intermediate and higher ocu oculitic upgrades for prosthetic tools. Excuse me. Considered omens of disease, they are known to grow larger as the illness worsens. Okay. It, right. Uh, wait. What? I did not know I could come up here. What the fuck? <gasps> Goodies. This feels like bait. Like coin purse. Oh. Uh... I hope it doesn't think I can jump across there, because there's no way in hell I make that jump. That's death. But interesting, I did not know you could come up here. Not quite the jump I meant to do, but we'll take it. Right, Gord Seed acquired. Um, best bet here, you know what's going to happen. Next time you see me, in about a second or so, we'll have an extra Gourd Seed. Okay, 
ladies and gents, I, uh, I might have slightly lied. We're not at the location I previously stated because I managed to get myself enough sen from a couple of heavy coin purses Yo. to buy the deflection. Iron Fortress. Yes. How about you? Now that that is purchased, we are going to head back to the sculptor. And here we are, ladies and gents. Time for another prosthetic tool upgrade. I do. The loaded umbrella. So, if I load this in... Yeah, it just gives me it as owned. So let us quickly double check. The loaded umbrella, a prosthetic tool created by fitting an indestructible iron ribbed umbrella to the arm. When spread open, it will protect against attacks from all directions. Holding it out while moving to protect from light attacks. But this is an umbrella after all. It won't protect you from low attacks, such as sweep attacks. So, and I, when I have it equipped, we hold R2 to shelter. Spread the unloaded umbrella to guard from attacks in all directions. You can also move with it, and you will continue to block lighter attacks as you move. So heavy attacks you can't. The moment an enemy attacks, if you, you can umbrella deflect, okay. Uh, spread the umbrella to deflect enemy attacks. Umbrella deflects are easier to time than sword deflects. That sounds pretty fucking good. Thanks. Right. I'm actually going to equip that over the shuriken um, tool. I want to see it. Yeah, that's cool. We now look like one of the rats. <laughs> you can... Whoa, that animation. That's fucking banging, that is. Right. We managed to get that, so now we will go back to the location I previously said we would be at. Right. Two routes to take here. The low route, which I feel like is the route you're meant to miss. And the high route seems like the obvious way, so we're going to do the non-obvious. And go for this shit. Sur Ooh, m Memorial Mob? Yeah. Alright, what have you got? Persimmon or persimmon? I know these. A red ripe persimmon, ready to eat. For a time, allows one to recover posture even when attacking or taking damage. Ashina persimmons are particularly nutritious, perhaps because the trees grow in such pure water. Persimmons become blood, blood becomes rice. Interesting. This may be of help to one short of blood. The woman wanted rice. She was going on about rice, so she wants blood. Ooh, okay. Five color rice. A gourd with five colored rice used by shinobi as landmarks, intended to be spread on the ground in recognizable patterns. The white gourd is blessed with fertility, and resting at a sculptor's idol will replenish it. Its rice is not edible, however. So... Okay, I guess... I guess we need that 1600 as well. 1600 sen. Interesting. Okay. Oh, 
ごくよう欠かさぬようにの。My little law brain trying to tie together the story here. The white rice, the woman wants the rice, the rice is the blood. There's a lot of weird shit. Where the fuck does that go? Is that a monk down there? Yeah. Wait. Is that the star? That is the star. Yeah, that's the other side. This is where we came up. This is the original entrance area. Okay. I'm not jumping down there. I'm not going backwards. Right, we'll head back round. Good. I'm glad we came down here first. It's a handy little... Uh, Handy little, 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 uh, little uh, spot to find. The memorial mob. Uh, spirit balloon. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you shitbag! Wow. I was not ready for the poison as well. Let's dash away real quick. Oh, you bitch. Motherfucker. This hasn't gone very well. This hasn't gone very well. Yeah. Damn. Maybe I could have held the umbrella out there to block a few more of those attacks. Holy shit. Oh, I've got the wrong... Good, some more health back. Oh no! No you don't! Wow! They hurt! And he poisoned me. Uh oh! Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 I'm not dying from poison! Don't even fucking try it! Where is my antidote powder? Ow. Right, looks like we might be needing antidote powder then. I knew that uh, I remembered already from five seconds ago. There's going to be more. Oh man, I gotta get used to switching through the different 
blades at the right time. Uh, not blades, but the different prosthetic tools. Oh, this is feeling ominous. Do you see anybody over there? No. So again, this would seem like the way to go, but that looks like perfect um, bait for an attack on me. There's a ledge down here. We can drop down. Okay, we can drop down there. There are a lot of statues and a lot of windmills here. <gasps> a red and white pinwheel. A small pinwheel made of red and white paper. Found about halfway up Mount Congo. The red and white pinwheels simply spin round and round. Everyone is right here. Okay, weird. Do I need to give that to our uh, our crying friend on the hill from a few episodes ago? So that looks like that's a way around and we come back up here rather than me going down that way. Okay, we got four gourd. Yeah, look, there's someone in that room. You can see him. He's waiting there. Is it just the one or is there a couple? It could be one, but it could be... I expect it to be more. What the living fuck are you? <laughs> I do no damage. I actually think I do zero damage. Wait, I thought I had a revive. I didn't have a revive. So I know how to kill him. You just have to... So his, his posture doesn't uh, renew. Um, so it's just a matter of... That's not where I jumped. Okay, the game is really not letting me go where I want. There we go. I'm not fighting all those little dudes for the sake of um, the, the wasting time, basically. But as you've noticed, I am having some issues with the uh, with some of the grappling. But, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave you hanging. Thank you very much for watching. I feel like we are we're making some good progress now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Over this gorgeous game. Look at that. And I will leave you with the enticing knowledge that the next episode will open. With a fight against a big armoured dude. Who apparently is invulnerable to actual damage until I think we break his posture so yes ladies and gentlemen again thank you very much for watching I have been Phil he has been the wolf this has been Senpu Temple and I will see you all in the next one peace peace